start with a couple of comments from Coach Baldwin and take questions. It was good to be back out again, and, and obviously last week was a little different because we were coming off spring break, where this week you feel more of a flow of coming off two days of practice. And, uh, you know, for us, we were, I felt like we were a little sloppy on Monday, you know, you know, a lot sloppy in some areas. Uh, but, you know, I, I always feel like, you know, the effort and the want to, to get back in there and, and figure those things out and, uh, you know, work not make the same mistake twice. I think that showed up today where we, we came back and, you know, corrected a lot of those things and, uh, you know, did some things better. But, you know, like it, it's still a long way away, only six deep, but uh, excited about this crew. Did you work on anything in particular today? Uh, you know, no, it was a pretty base practice in terms of that. I mean, but we did get into, uh, you know, some third down stuff. Uh, but what we've done that the last couple days, we got into a little bit more red zone, you know, just, just football than we probably have yet. And we'll continue to do that. Coach Wilcox does a you know, great job, you know, putting us in all sorts of different situations, which is great for us. And, and we continue to work that. So, um, yeah, you know, those were kind of a couple of the areas that were specific today. You got a lot of guys back from that offensive line. In general, how's that group looked? Uh, several handful of practices out here in this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it because you know all you can you can base it on where their progress is from the end of the season, where their progress was from a year ago, and just how we've grown. And you see that growth with those guys. I mean, you see that growth just in the understanding. You know, they're able to get a call and just it paints that picture quicker. You know, and that's kind of the, the term you use. I hear Tui use it all the time, and it's a great you know with the QBs and stuff those words that signal whatever it is has to paint that quick picture so you're starting to see that picture being painted um just just you know sooner and just more confidently which like anything we do you're able to play faster and more explosive when you have that so you can see that and uh it's exciting it's exciting to have that veteran group back but it's also exciting because like i said earlier you know i think it was the first week you know nothing you've done in the past dictates that you're automatically gonna you know be there in the future you have to keep earning it and they know that so there's great competition in there uh, with young guys as well. Are those three seniors really uh, showing leadership and helping out and like that? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You're talking about on the O-line as yeah. well? Yeah, I mean they do. A, they're, they're, they're a tremendous group of leaders. And even if some of them maybe aren't as vocal as others, they do things the right way. I mean you saw it when we, we have signed some team project stuff that I won't get into, but they set a tone with that. They were the first ones to kind of present to the team and, and uh, you just they set a tone. And that to me shows a lot of leadership. You know, as much as, you know, anything you say, it's just, you know, how you handle situations, how you handle a task, how you handle your day to day. And that's what those seniors, you know, that I'm so impressed about. But it's it bleeds through too to the young guys, not just the seniors. There's a there's a big group of guys that that show that. How has uh, working with Coach Toller been so far now that you're you're forty percent of the way done? Man, he's a legend. Long. I just I just know that in the Bay Area he's here and I'm still way down here. That's how it is working with him. But but for good reason. That guy is just, you know, he's great. He's he's a great coach, he's a great person, he's you know, treats people the right way. You, you know, he just you can you know he he he, he again he, he just you know there's a there's a respect levels there because he's earned it you know, um, but at the same time he just interacts so well you know it, it's just he's is it's we're very fortunate you know in terms of having him on staff for a number of reasons so uh, it's uh, it's been it's been fun a lot of fun. How much interplay have you had with him about the running backs? And oh yeah, a decent amount you know because we you know we talk about what you know things that I saw last year, things that we did, this and that. But also at the same time, I mean, he's bringing a ton of new new approaches, new ideas, and that's the way I look at things. None of us are finished products. So I, I don't just want to talk about, you know, this is the way we did it, so that's the only way to do it. Uh-uh, you do that, you're going to get passed up. So I like to hear kind of some of his thoughts, some of his ideas. What was he doing when he was here before? What thoughts? So we've just been able to kind of mesh on those things and, uh, you know, and hopefully, you know, again, come together to, to keep growing and getting better. Sorry if you already answered this. I was yeah. talking okay. to Charlie. Uh, what have you seen out of uh, out of Brandon and uh, and and then Ross? Oh yeah, I, I think it's been, you know, uh, it's been healthy. You know, it's the best way I said a nice, healthy, you know, competition in that way. Uh, obviously, Ross, a year later and a year under his belt, you see certain things that are a ton different even a ton different than they were middle of last season, you know, just where he is and, and just the time he spent. So it's, it's exciting to see where he's progressed from a calendar year ago and just in general. And then with Brandon, it's again, it's just, it's it's a work. You know, I mean, you get to this point, it's, it's, a, it's a work, you know, and then what I mean by that is my biggest 
things I want to see with Brandon is wherever he is and you know and he made a couple you know big plays but sometimes his biggest thing is is not he's kind of that you know Phil Mickelson birdie then bogey birdie then, you know bogey you know <laughs> at, at times you know because he yeah. shows that ability to go birdie holes yeah we saw, you know, we that, saw that a lot on and, and then it'll be that you know and then it'll, it'll bogey a hole so it's just getting to a point where he can consistently take that stuff out of it because you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of raw ability there. It's just a matter of getting used to the system, and and my my biggest thing will be excited about what's the growth from where are we right now. Practice six. What does he look like? Practice 12, 13, 14 as we finish spring going into the off season. Putting on the pads for the first time fully. What kind of impro- what kind of improvements have you seen in the offensive line now that they've all eight of them have worked together for for a whole year. Yeah, I've seen. You know, uh, shoot, it's been it, and we just talked about it a little bit. It's just been. It's been a group that has a lot of great leadership within it, you know. So you see them growing from where they were not just a year ago, but even during the season. And what I said before is things now, word signals, you know, everything. It paints a picture quicker for them. So now they're able to play with more explosion. They're able to play faster. They're able to play, you know, even that much more together, you know. So uh, it's it's been it's been just fun to see that grow Coach at that position. Coach Wilcox said that every no matter where he's been, the offensive line, it's always a very unique unique group and they're probably the closest group oh yeah no question and they should be i mean because if they're not you know that's you know that's you know, first off it's a lifeblood of your offense but ultimately you know as a team you know you count on you know what type of line you have to have success as an entire team and uh and and there's so much in terms of calls and signals and stepping in the same direction and being in unison the best o lines when you watch them it's it's not always well, what O-line has the most talent? It's what O-line works together the best. What O-line truly looks like everyone's taking the same steps, and it just it just looks like, you know, like ballet in a sense, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. You know, yeah. everyone's you know in sync and rhythm, and that's what, you know, that, and that's you know what I think Coach Great was always done an incredible job of that, and you just you just see that with those guys. It's not perfect, you know, but we're still we're we're progressing to that. Ballet, you just don't want to see them all in unitard. Yeah, you know, but I use that term <laughs> yeah. just you know I'm just trying to yeah. think of what makes of synchronized swimming no. or something yeah. like that. I don't want to see them in those either, probably. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, worse. something like that. <laughs> Back to the quarterbacks. Uh, yeah. You talked about uh, Brandon and uh, Ross. How about the other guys? Yeah, they're, uh, like I said, both chases have done a great job, you know, and, and they're and they're all gotten a decent amount of reps. You know, a lot of times you don't necessarily, you know, see four guys getting a ton of reps, but they've earned them, you know, and they're deservingly so. Now it starts to get cut down. It becomes tougher and tougher in some ways, you know, because you, you don't consistently play, you know, four. But in terms of, you know, some of the reps, they've taken good advantage of it, and uh, and and they were prepared. You know, that's the thing you, you, you look at with both, you know, Forrest for not starting any games last year. You know, he came in here and he was prepared going into spring, even without some of that experience. Garbers, you know, being a red shirt and, you know, you know the role he had, he was still prepared mentally. So you really appreciate that and you respect that about how they worked. And then on top of that, they're doing some great things physically. At the end of practice there, you know, Garbers are in there at the end and, and Forrest has, has done some really good things operating throughout spring. Has there been any sort of separation, any sort of... Oh no, no, we're, we're no, not a practice six. We're just in a, we're in a spot where, and, and honestly, we wouldn't, we, we wouldn't open our mouths a whole lot about it anyway. You know, I mean, it's just the reality is we, you know, well, no matter ask. what the, yeah, I know you gotta ask, and I gotta say, you know, no. <laughs> so that's kind of how it goes. Yeah, that's ballet. <laughs> right. So that's yeah, no matter what it is, it's it, but it'll, it, but it's just been, it's been a good healthy competition at what point do you start like you said whittling down those reps to two or three guys? you know it depends there was some of that today you know there was some of that today where it wasn't quite as much as the first five practices and then and then you just keep going but you keep having to earn that you have to just keep earning that as they go through as they go through spring it ain't just like okay now you two are going the rest of spring all of a sudden you know it's we got four guys that are competing you know so it's 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 something where even if it gets whittled down it may not it, you never know it may not always be the same two you know, practice eight as it is practice twelve. You we know? saw, uh, we we saw. Patrick looks like he got a little, maybe fewer reps than he would maybe have wanted on Monday. Oh, uh, he did. He well, said. He well, did. I mean, well, it it, yeah. it looked like there was, oh, yeah. well, there was a lot of there was a lot of the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. If Pat doesn't get all of them. Those are fewer than he wanted. <laughs> so no, but he doesn't ever act like that. But he's just he's just wired that way. He's ready to go. Have you guys sort of started pulling it back a yeah, little bit? I wouldn't say that. We just you know we just try to have a strategic plan in terms of how many he's going to get. Not so much pulling it back. It's kind of been that way through. Okay. Yeah, through the start of spring. 
you know, just whatever it looked like Monday, it's probably looked like the other the other four as well. What do you thought of the third? Uh, he, he, he he's doing a good a job, man. He is. He's uh, he's he's doing some good things, and he's he's just a, he's a good football player. You know, he just is, you know, no matter what position. He's a good football player. You could see that last year. And uh, I'm excited for just, you know, who knows? You know, you never know how things go. And he's, he's like I said, for, for only being six days on the job, you know, in terms of running back, he's he's doing some nice things. What kind of developments have you seen from Tariq Johnson this uh, spring? You've definitely seen some things with him. You can already see him. I'm looking over at him right now. Just he's leaner. You know, he's leaner. He's leaner in the waist. He's leaner in some of the hips, so he's moving better. He's moving smoother, getting down the field better. Again, things are painting a better picture for him. You know, before it was, you know, it's you see something and you're really having to try and process it. You can never run as fast or come out of breaks as well. And now things are painting a better picture for him, so he's able to play some with some speed. So excited about his growth in one calendar year. He'd be one of those guys, if you ask, you know, who are you know, four or five or five or six guys that have changed the most in 365 days. He's he's up there. I haven't, uh, I mean, this is, uh, we haven't been here, but uh, Vic Warden, is he, is he had the... Yeah, he'll be, he'll be back with us next week, and that's, you know, more of a, you know, team situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. All right, thank you.